here I will continue creating this program to print A and okay and we left here that that uh, I was thinking that how to improve this where to put this middle line here because the problem is that okay if we run it now we can see that it's all fine the middle line it goes here but what if I create a very small A let's say that I put the size to 0, 2 and if I run it now we can see that um, we can see that the middle line is going to the bottom we would rather like it here so so I will create a rule here that if um, if the row is uh, if, if it's in the middle if, if it's a very small A then we will print it in the middle middle not uh, not to the last section of the a because this one chooses to print it at the end of the at the bottom near the bottom this one so let's print it in the middle if the a is very small so we can say here that if height <coughs> if height is less less or equal to 2 and then row row uh, is um, uh, and and if the row is at the middle which means height divided by 2 so this is the first condition that if it's a very small and we are in the middle then print print that line but the other one is that um, if we have um, if it's greater than two, so if it's a, if it's a big if it if it's a big big A and uh, and then it's near the uh, then 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 we are drawing near the bottom. Then we also draw the law draw the line here. So this is dealing with the big A and this is dealing with the small a. So if it's small a and we are in the middle of the a then print the line. If or if it's a big a and uh, and we are near the bottom of the a then also print a. So now if we run this small a with this correction it should work better. And there we go. So the line goes now in the middle in the small a and so on. Okay, we still have one problem here, which is um, I, I already found it. Found this problem with this current code. If we are using here values, which I put here. If we use these values here and print currently, as you can see, we are getting the. Um, it starts wrongly. This a from here it, do it doesn't start from the same spot going to the right and I was actually thinking myself why is this happening and I found it it happens because because this calculation here is actually printing 14 points this calculation here when it's finding the when it's finding the what is this finding finding this thing it's finding the at the X when we start start at the top it should, it should, it should bring 15 here. But the problem is that this one, this double calculation here, returns actually 19.99999. So it's doing the, it's almost, it's it's giving the 15, but it's just below that. And when we are cutting the decimals using integer logic, it will actually cut all of these, which is a major major change it will bring 14 actually so that's why I'm, I'm creating a helper function here which is which is called which is called a round function I'm gonna round it up if it's very close to close to your upper limit upper upper side so I'm gonna say double double a positive positive rounding uh, 
and here we get in we have an input value to round because we are only dealing with the positive rounding so we say that if the round is less than zero then we just return we just return it back like this like it was otherwise we say that integer without decimals So without decimals, it will be the <coughs> it will be the, the the integer static cast brings brings the number without decimals, and then then we are getting only the decimals, the decimal part. We get that by saying to round minus this without round. So the exact number minus without decimals is obviously only the decimals and now we're going to say that if the decimals is greater than 0 0.99 then return then round it this is C function, C function, this is round function it rounds it to the nearest uh, whole number and otherwise return without decimals because normally we, we just want without decimals that's that's how we do this thing decimals like that okay so now this one rounds it up up if it's very close to the upper limit so now we can use this <coughs> use this function here here, um, here, just before we, just before we, um, we turn the number to integer back to integer, we will first round it up to the 15 in that case. So now, this function should return the correct 15 in this case. So if I compile it and run it now, yeah. Now it works, so it now it 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 gives fifteen, two down fifteen there, and then it goes correctly. Okay, it's getting very very close now. Is there something I forgot still? Still, and um, it looks very much all right. Looks good to me. Just checking a little bit this one and um, okay static cost eight okay it looks looks all right it looks all right to me now so now it should work with all of them so now let, let's just do some fun here first and um, so I'm going to for loop here double i goes from 0 0.1 0 0.1 and um, Let's draw many A's here, changing the size. So if I put here I and uh, yeah, just like that. And um, then let's just wait a little bit. I'll, I'll copy this code from here. I've already done this for loop. So for this one, we need. Um, Chrono and date here. Okay. So we're waiting 
half a second here and let's just try to print many of those in a row and see how different sizes they look so there we get it's increasing in size a little bit and they all look <laughs> pretty good well I did check that which size looks good to be honest with you that with these settings it looks good to A like that okay obviously if I change the, um, the ratio let's say I put um, 22 30 for example now it, it doesn't look exactly that good it's still A but it's uh, not totally straight the line but it still looks A isn't it and uh, let me stop this and now if I let's make it very wide let's put here be 60 Yeah, there's a wide A, wide A. Then a very narrow A. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's so narrow it doesn't even look A. So that's a very narrow A. Let's make it super, super wide. 100. Okay, ready? There is a wide, wide A, so to speak. Nice. Okay, one more thing quickly here. <coughs> We can now, because it's a it, it takes in a stream here, as you can see it's output stream, it takes a reference to output stream. That means that we can actually print it on the file, into a file, sorry. Uh, we can say here that it's very easy to do std uh, os stream and um, to do this we have to include the, uh, the f stream like that and then um, I'm gonna create the file object file and um, file open I already created this file so I'm just gonna put here a txt it's here this file so I'm gonna use this it's in the same folder than this project is okay so file we are opening that file uh, for writing and then I'm just gonna say here that uh, so now I'm just gonna pass this uh, file object instead here like that and what else I need to do I think that's all so let's let's try now I will I will print this thing now <coughs> let's put it back to the original the nice one nice size so I will print all these all these A's now uh, into the file and let's see if it works it's doing its job a little bit waiting and when it's finished it will close the file and we can open the file and see the result Oh, there we go. So now, as you can see, it says that this is modified, and there we go. We have a nice, nice set of A's here. So I have a lot of A numbers in the file. This is the text file, so you can copy copy this stuff from here and put in the email and send to somebody. So I can copy this A here from here. It'd be a nice one. This one. I can copy it from here, and uh, I can put it here. Here in a notepad. 
into the notepad and uh, yeah, there we go. Or I can email my friend this A. Very nice. Okay, so this one ends this tutorial and um, I don't know, maybe I will create another number, number another time, but um, thank you for watching and I hope this helps. Okay, bye bye.